there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to create a really fun floating circle on the front of our card. Now obviously you can do any shape at all and you can use any papers that you have or want to make. But for this I'm going to use these Crafters Companion. This is just some 6x3 sheets of paper and I am just choosing three of them out of these sets. These are such handy sets to have uh, in my little stash. I don't carry much colored paper at all, but these felt like a good little size so that I could still have a range of colors if I didn't want to use my inks, but coloring paper with inks would work just fine too. So I am cutting these up with my little trimmer and I'm cutting them to all different sizes, around one eighth of an inch, one quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, anywhere up to half an inch or so, um, but any widths at all, and they don't all have to be the same. I am just making sure that they are as straight as I can get them. However, in saying that, I mean wonky strips would work too, so either either. You might want to have thinner at one end and thicker at the other end and just kind of work your way down doing that, so just whatever works. It doesn't really matter. You could just cut them with some scissors, or I guess you could even use some border dies or edging dies and kind of have a wavy edge, so <laughs> there's so many ideas, but anyhow, I went with straight for this card. Then I have my Hero Arts Infinity Circle Dies. Any circle dies, you could do a square, a rectangle, a circle, a star, a heart so many shapes would work here so I have a piece of acetate now this was just a scrap so it's not measured but I am making sure it's a little bit bigger than the circle that I want to use so I'm going to pop my card base aside and I am going to pop a piece of double-sided tape on the back of all of these strips here now I have used uh, liquid glue onto acetate before and it does work fine it does take a little bit longer to dry but kind of just for peace of mind, I often choose to go with double-sided tape when I am adhering to acetate. So it's up to you, but I am going to spend a little bit of time to pop the tape on the back of each one of these strips. And then I have my piece of acetate here. The only reason that I have my card bases under there is so I thought you would be able to see it a little bit easier, but it really makes no difference. So I am just using the very loose lines on my um, contact paper down on my desk of the wood grain to kind of line these up. I am just eyeballing it, but I am making sure to kind of go yellow, orange, pink, yellow, orange, pink, and then follow that pattern. And I don't want two of the same size width strips side by side. What I am trying to do is make sure that the gap in between the strips of paper is the same size. So the pieces of paper are not, but I want the little gaps to be roughly the same size and every now and then I will check with the die because I only need to make it as big as the die I don't need to keep on going so that's all I'm aiming for to cover enough area for that circle die now I'm just going to cut off the edge pieces here this is not necessary it's just so that I can get rid of those extra sticky bits that were hanging off the edge of the acetate and I didn't want them to stick down to anything that they shouldn't then I'm going to use the circle die and just place it anywhere up and down my little piece of acetate here. The acetate just makes it so much easier. It holds everything in place and it gives that gorgeous shine in between the gaps of the cardstock. So that's why I'm using the acetate here. I have cut out my circle, which just cuts really nicely through a normal die cutting machine. And then I'm going to bring in a little flower here. This is just a one single die. And I just went through my stash, had a look. I will try and link these down below. These are really old, but I, I may be able to find them. Um, if not, go through your stash. Again, you could use any kind of shape that you wanted to put here that doesn't have to be something in particular it doesn't have to be flowers so I am just going to put it kind of off to the left hand side and there's a reason for that a little bit later on I'm going to use a little bit of the mint tape which is just a really nice low tech tape and I use it for all of my die cutting I've run that through my die cutting machine and then I have got a nice clean cut through those layers of cardstock and the acetate and then I'm going to do the same in some black cardstock just with that flower die. Now this flower die actually has kind of like separate petals, it's just an outline die. So when I run this through my die cutting machine and it comes back out the other side, I want to keep all of them in place. So for the minute I'm just going to get a little bit of double sided tape and kind of tape across there before I pull the cardstock out of the die and then that way the petals will stay in place. 
I actually end up changing my mind a little bit later on and you'll see how I change this but you can see that the petals there I'm just making sure that they try and stay in the right place because the petals are different shapes for each one so I didn't want to have to guess later on then this is the back of the circle so I've turned it over now and I'm adding a little strip of foam tape behind each one of the cardstock strips you could do uh, every second one or skip some but I wanted to make sure that it was well supported because I knew this one would be going through the mail so I'm going to make sure that I've got a little bit behind all the spots that I can I'm not being too pedantic about making sure that it's kind of wide enough but as long as it goes the length of the strip of paper will be fine if you have some sheets of fun foam you could add these to the back cut them into strips and add that you could even just add normal foam strips or you could add foam dots or foam squares to the back or you could layer up pieces of cardstock whatever you have that works for you to give this a little bit of dimension or not you could definitely just put this down flat on your card as well so now I decided that I want this to be hanging off the edge a little bit and that was part of the reason that I put the flower more so to the left hand side but also because I need to fit my little sentiment on here as well. So I am trying to get the <laughs> stripes lined up relatively straight but no one's really going to notice I don't think. And then that little bit hanging off the edge I'm just going to cut that off with a nice pair of long bladed scissors and then this is where I'm going to pop the black one back in but when I kind of look at it there I don't like the solid black petals so I am actually going to take these out as the die was originally intended and that was nice and easy so I like that look a lot better I'm going to pop a little bit of liquid glue on the back and just make sure it's got enough to adhere it down and then because this is popped up with foam tape I am actually going to kind of use a little pokey tool and make sure everything is poked right through so that it's stuck down to the card base layer and the card base is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card however you could do this with any size card and you would just change up the size of your feature in the middle so that's really nice and easy and you can use it for any occasion at all and you can change up the colors or you could just use scraps of pattern paper and colored paper that would work well as well then for the sentiment here this is going to be nice and simple I'm going to use this word fragments stamp set and I stamped that one not great so I stamp off a second one and I'm using some VersaFine onyx black ink which is really good for stamping fine detail and sentiments and things like that so it's definitely a favorite of mine then I'm using my scissors you could use a trimmer but uh, these long scissors make it really easy for me to cut straight otherwise if I tried to do it with a pair of fussy cutting scissors I probably wouldn't have it quite so good <laughs> then I have just adhered that down nice and flat because it's already popped up with foam tape uh, so I didn't want to add any more then I'm adding a few Nuvo drops this is the morning dew color which dries transparent it dries absolutely clear even though it goes on a little bit white and I'm just popping some dots here and there and I tend to do kind of a little bit bigger one and then a little bit smaller one beside it just a couple this is a very clean and simple card but one of my favorites and you can recreate this using so many different things in your stash it could be any different shape with any little die cut cut into it and there are so many different options that you could use for the paper or the pattern paper or make your own colored cardstock Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments section down below if this is something that you would try out. And I really appreciate your support. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye.